Welcome to Steadfast Hope, the teaching ministry of Pastor Trevon and Elder Quinn Gross. This broadcast is designed to help you remain rooted and grounded in the hope of the gospel of Jesus Christ. And now, here's today's message. If you lend me $50, maybe I should turn it around. If I come to you and I say, can I borrow $50? And then I return the $50, there's no benefit in that. You just gave me what, you, what was due, right? I'm giving back to you what I borrowed from you. So nobody's going to jump up and down. That's what you were supposed to do. You said you would pay me back, so that's what you did. But if I get $50 from you and I return $100 right. back, why? Because I, you, I borrowed uh, 50 and because I'm so grateful that you took the time or you didn't mind making that sacrifice for me. I just want to thank you and really appreciate you. So I'm giving you back 100 That's called the offering. That's something that's over and above. And would you say you would be glad? Amen. You would be glad because that's something that you just wanted to give me. That's just something that you just wanted to do. And that's what it is when we talk to God and we say, Lord, I got 90% left of, my, of what I received. And with this 90%, I think I'm going to peel off 10 more percent off. I think I'm going to peel off 20 more percent. You determine the offering. God never determines the offering. He says, you determine the offering. Whatever you want to bring to him, he says, that's an offering. Are you with me today? The seed is categorized in five ways. Pastor talked about it last, last week. He said the seed is our time. The seed is our talent. It is our treasure. It is our testimony. And it is our trust. That is the seed. That is what I give to God over and above my tithe. Not because I have to, but because I want to. And so he began by talking about how the seed pre-qualifies my promotion. The seed pre-qualifies my promotion. Look in your Bibles to Matthew chapter 25. Matthew chapter 25. We're going to read it quickly and move on. Matthew 25, and he began reading... In verse 14, for the kingdom of God, I'm sorry, for the kingdom of heaven is like a man traveling a far country who called his own servant and delivered his goods to them. And to one he gave five talents and to another two and to another one, to each according to his own ability, to his own ability, to his own ability, and immediately he went on a journey. Then he who had received the five talents went out and traded with them, made another five talents, and likewise he who had received two gained two more also. But he who had received one went and dug in the ground and hid his Lord's money. After a long time, the Lord of those servants came and settled accounts with them. So he who had received five talents came and brought five other talents, saying, Lord, you delivered to me five talents. Look, I have gained five more talents besides them. His Lord said to him, well done, good and faithful servant. What does he say? Well done, good and faithful servant. You were faithful. You were faithful over a few things. I will make you ruler over many things. Enter into the joy of your Lord. He also, who had received two talents, came and said, Lord, you delivered to me two talents. Look, I have gained two more talents besides them. His Lord said to him, well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful over a few things. I will make you ruler over many things. Enter into the joy of your Lord. Verse 24. Then he who had received the one talent came and said, Lord, I knew you to be a hard man, reaping where you have not sown and gathering where you have not scattered seed. And I was afraid, and I went and hid your talent in the ground. Look, there you have what is yours. But his Lord answered and said to him, you wicked and lazy servant, you knew that I reap where I have not sown and gather where I have not scattered seed. So you ought to have deposited my money with the bankers, and at my coming I would have received back my own with interest. So the talent from him, so take the talent from him and give it to him who has 10 talents. What do I do with the seed? What, I'm sorry, what I do with the seed determines if I will get more. What I do with my seed will determine if I will get more. If I hold on to my seed, my time, my talent, my treasure, my trust, if I hold on to those seeds, I will not get any more. 
But if I give my seed, if I plant my seed, I can expect to get more. God gives seed to the sower. 2 Corinthians 9, God gives seed to the sower. So if you set it up in your life where you're not a sower, you decide, well, this is mine and I don't want to give any more. That's your prerogative to do. But you will not get any more seed so that when there's a need, you won't have any seed because you always eat up your seed. But those of us who make a decision that I'm going to sow seed, it doesn't matter if I sow the dollar or the $5, I'm going to be faithful over the little bit that I have. I don't have to have $10,000 to help them who had an earthquake, but what I do have, I'm going to sow that seed because when I'm faithful over this little bit, God said he will bless me so that if there's another catastrophe, I have more than I had the first time to sow because he gives seed to the sower. I look at the Bible in, in uh, Luke chapter 4, you can turn over there, and I see a man named Matthew. Now Matthew in the Bible is also known as Levi, and he was a tax collector. And Jesus walks up on Matthew and he says, I know you're a tax collector, and I'm going to paraphrase all of my stories, okay? He looks at him and he says, I know you're a tax collector and you're doing pretty well, but come and follow me. The Bible says that Matthew, this man Levi, he left all. He didn't try to do both. He left all to follow Jesus Christ. Here is a man who sold his very life. Then I looked at the Samaritan woman. Jesus comes to her and says, give me some water. He, she gives him water and he gives her living water. Yes. This is the kind of exchange that takes place with Jesus. And when he gave her this living water, she went out with a testimony to the other Samaritans. She went out and told them, come see a man who told me all that I have done. The Samaritans believed on Jesus then, but when they met him for themselves, they said, we believe not because you said so, but because we have seen for ourselves. Welcome to Steadfast Hope, the teaching ministry of Pastor Trevon and Elder Quinn Gross. This broadcast is designed to help you remain rooted and grounded in the hope of the gospel of Jesus Christ. And now, here's today's message. 